Dad doesn't fulfill his agreement with Dublin, everything we have will be lost. Everything that's owed to us. How could you possibly know that? Retaliation, revenge, and gang wars is basically one of the elements that's on the cards for the rest of season 2 of Force. Tommy killing Chewie will result in treason making their move, but with violence does come consequence. Now the obvious consequence is death, but the game is also about to change with law enforcement. Walter Flynn will also look to repair his relationship with Claudia and Vic, because Dublin won a big prize for peace, but it does seem like Claudia is about to make a move of her own. So we're in for some more manipulation, moves which are motivated by self-interest and sibling rivalry, but we're also set to be introduced to some new players in Miguel Garcia's family and perhaps Miguel Garcia's link to the cartel. But we're going to run through all these exclusive images, clips and clues for all things episode 2 in this preview. Now the title for episode 2 is Great Consequence and the synopsis reads, Jannard's crew seeks revenge as Tommy learns of a rivalry between Miguel and the Serbs that he and Diamond can use to CBI's advantage. Meanwhile, the feds are pursuing a task force with Tommy at the center of the investigation. Now, with the episode title Great Consequence, I think we all know what's coming our way. The synopsis teases a task force is being formed by law enforcement and Chewie's death along with the rise in chaos and violence between treason and the CBI will only play into law enforcement's hand. But consequences in the street and drug game extend far beyond legal problems. Wars between CBI, treason, the Mexicans and the Serbs will only hit each other financially. Communities will suffer because of the ongoing violence and with Gary Lennon at the helm of Powerbook 4 Force now, I think we're going to see the real Chicago on our screens. They've already hinted at the real world issues Chicago faces in episode 1, which really was a great touch and I really do hope they continue in great consequence. Now with Jannard, we've got him deep in thought and he's got some big decisions to make. I'm sure we all remember the bad blood between Tommy and Jannard in season 1 and so he's going to want Tommy to answer for Chewie's death, so he's definitely going to want to retaliate. But we are going to see Diamond coming to visit his brother where he's going to warn him, do not start a war, he does not stand a chance in winning. So will this change Jannard's mind? Let's just take this back a step and have a look at all the issues he's dealing with. He's already low on blocks, he's low on bodies and he's also low on money. He needs to figure out a way to pay Miguel Garcia for his re-up and he also needs to figure out a way to get Merkovic, the Crimson Project's territory he promised him at the end of season 1. This is why I questioned earlier in the week, is it really such a good idea to pick a fight that Jannard has no chance in winning? Taking it back to season 1, what we saw at the back end of the season was Jannard making a move on his brother but he didn't make it himself. He sent Blackstone to the barber shop but when that failed he tried to get Merkovic to help him take out Diamond and Tommy. He also approached Walter Flynn and asked him to help with a beef with Diamond but both Merkovic and Walter Flynn said family was his problem but you get the sense Jannard didn't have what it takes to step up to Diamond. Now based on the trailer for episode 2 it won't stop Treason from making their move on Tommy but I do feel this is the wrong move from Jannard, he really does need to find another way. With Tommy and Diamond we are going to see a bit of conflict between the two and rightly so. Tommy made a move behind Diamond's back, albeit the disrespect definitely had to be dealt with. I also agree with Diamond, Tommy couldn't make a move without telling his partner. This is what caused a lot of tension between Ghost and Tommy. Tommy was never happy with Ghost making moves behind his back. Now having said that, I don't think their conflict will last too long. The synopsis teases they are going to use the beef between the Mexicans and the Serbs to their advantage. So we've got the CBI strapped up and making their move, but how they manage to capitalize on the ongoing feud between the Mexicans and the Serbs is yet to be seen. But they do need to be very careful about the move they're about to make, not just because Miguel Garcia is a dangerous drug lord, but both Tommy and Diamond have issues of their own. But Tommy he needs to continue to protect his family and for Diamond, he's got Mr. Reeves on his case. There will be random drug tests, random visits to your home, updates on work search and it is so important that you do not communicate with other felons. He is a random visit to Diamond's workplace and we've got Tommy looking on realizing Mr. Reeves is a huge problem. Unfortunately, this is an issue they can't deal with a gun or money, so Diamond does need to figure out a way to get him off his case. Now, we've all seen from various teasers and trailers the war between Miguel Garcia and Merkovic is about to heat up. We learn how they're direct competitors in episode 1 and the Sebs are about to make their move with Tommy finding himself slap bang in the middle. And I will come back to the beef between the Mexicans and the Serbs in just a moment, but this is Miguel's grandmother. Miguel's grandmother is set to be introduced in force. We've got both the Garcias sitting at a table and where we hear Miguel telling her he's going to gut him like a fish before he puts his trust in him, no doubt talking about Tommy Egan. So there are two key points to take away from this. There's a huge Latino family culture that Jose Sikora spoke about prior to season 2. Miguel Garcia is said to be heavy on family and will do whatever it takes to protect the ones he loves. But the second is, the fact that Miguel Garcia is talking about getting Tommy like a fish before he puts his trust in him. Miguel's grandmother might even be the head of the Garcia's organization, 
or she could have been the one who built this and passed it down to Miguel. So it is going to be interesting to see what she says on all the chaos and violence, because old heads normally do have a different way of conducting business. Now we've also got Miguel Garcia in a meeting with a new player in Chicago, and we all know he has ties to the Mexican cartel, and I wasn't sure whether we would get that introduction to the cartel in season 2, but we very well might. Elsewhere we've got Miguel Garcia having a drink with one of his soldiers, with a hell of a lot of firepower in the background. Now what they're toasting to could be a very successful retaliation of their own on the Serbs. We've spoken about the ongoing beef between CBI and treason, and the same goes for Miguel Garcia and Merkovic. The Serbs have made their move, so at some point, so will Miguel Garcia. Clyde. Tell me you're fucking Brendan Doyle for information. You have no idea what I'm willing to do to get what I want. Do you even hear yourself right now? Look, I'm going to do what needs to be done. I'm going this was an exclusive clip that was released for episode 2 with Claudia and Vic, which I will come to in just a moment. But in episode 2, we've got Walter Flynn who's trying to make an amends with his family. He's going to approach both Vic and Claudia because they need to show a united front against the threat posed by Dublin. And to be honest with you, Walter Flynn really does need his kids at this moment in time. Similar to Jannard, he has his back against the wall without his kids' trust, low on cash, and Dublin are just waiting for him to fuck up. So we are going to see him trying to make a business deal of some sort with Uncle Paulie by his side. But again, it really is not enough. He needs his kids to show this united front to fight off Dublin. Vic, I know you're going through a tough time right now, but this really isn't a good look for you or the family. We've got Claudia warning Vic, him being in this complete wreck isn't a good look for the family. Because if they don't fulfill their obligation to Dublin, then everything that they're owed will be lost. Now how does Claudia know that? That's because she's been sleeping with Brendan Doyle. One thing we've learned about Claudia from season 1 is that she will do what needs to be done. If that means killing someone, sleeping with someone or threatening someone, Claudia will get shit done. Unfortunately what this exclusive clip also showed was, sometimes she can't help herself by bashing Vic. Now I guess there are kind of two ways you can look at this. At this moment in time, Vic is still mourning Gloria and it is going to take him some time to get back to normal, whatever normal is. On the flip side, Claudia isn't wrong either. The way she says things may be straight up and to the point, but Vic needs to wake up and smell the coffee. He needs to get his shit in order, otherwise there will be major consequences. At this moment in time, he needs both an arm around the shoulder, but also a kick up the backside. It is a very fine line because it's not easy losing a loved one. Now, one thing I do want to touch on that popped into my mind when I saw this image was Gloria's mother's grave. Rewinding it back to season 1, we saw Gloria visiting Christina's graveside, and on a tombstone, it did say Mother of Two Hearts. So it goes back to the lesson we've learned in the Power Universe about the writers just dropping hints around siblings that could appear in a later season. A few examples are Dewey's brother in Raising Canaan, Unique mentioned his brother Ronnie, who we are going to see in Season 3. Walter Flynn also mentioned he has a brother in Season 1 of Force, and there's also Gloria who either has a brother or sister. So I do wonder whether we'll meet them in the future. It's just a small clue I thought was worth mentioning considering Vic is at Gloria's grave. But how this plays out with the Flynns, I think we all know what they're building up to. Dublin and Walter Flynn will no doubt go head to head at some point, because he's dying of cancer anyway, and there's no way he's going to go down without a fight. And so as Walter Flynn said in episode 1, if you want peace, prepare for war, 